Welcome back to my channel, The Struggle is Real with Jamie Yeager. Today we are going to look at the products that I struggle with. And it's not that they're bad products, it's just either I don't understand it or I struggle. So let's get started. I already um, moisturized my face. And um, the first thing is the Poreless Fates Primer. And the thing that I struggle with this, and this is from e.l.f., um, is that sometimes, okay, the, I get the concept of primer, but sometimes I see people just put the, if it's a poreless, just in their T-zone and not all over their face. Well, isn't that the whole point of a primer is to put it all over your face? And if I get, you only want it in your T-zone because that's where your pores are. But then, wouldn't you, if you don't want to put that all over your face, would you? could you go in with another primer and put that all over your face? So I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty Pre-Base. Pre so those are just like questions that I have about primer. And then the Smashbox Under Eye Primer. I, I use this because I got it. But I just put primer all over my face. Do, do I really need under eye primer? Does it do anything different for your under eyes? Does it really decrease the cre creasing or whatever it's supposed to do? Because the point of primer is to stick to the makeup, right? And so does it, but I, but whenever you put primer on, you still put it under your under eyes. So you do you need the additional under eye primer. The next thing I struggle with is color corrector. So you have all these different kinds of color correcting. You know, I I've been using the placebo one because it's multi use or multi colors, and um, I feel like I need everything. But if you go in one shade, you know it seems like you know it's, it's kind of hard for me to and with this i don't know if it's just this one la colors to conceal correct it is so hard to blend out because of the color and then i i have found if you don't use a full coverage um foundation that it's you have to like keep layering it to cover this so if I'm going to use a foundation that is not full coverage, I can't. It, it's very hard. I can't use this um, because it doesn't blend out as good. Actually, today, it's actually blending out real, a lot better than it normally does. But see, you can still see the blue tint. And normally, I can't even get this it to blend this good. The other thing I struggle with is, well, I've never tried it because I feel like I would struggle, and are cream eyeshadows. So today I have the Melted Chocolate Matte Eyeshadow by Too Faced and the Marc Jacobs um, Liquid Eyeshadow. This one seems a little bit light, so I'm going to go ahead with this. And I guess, oh, the reason why I struggle with this with these type of shadows are because i guess i don't know like what you're supposed to do with them like especially i mean do you i know some people put it on and then put a mat on and maybe i should have done that first like did a transition matte shade and then this over but this kind of looks like a nutri uh, a nutrition <laughs> a transition shade I can't talk today um but now it's like super wet so then what do you do with it and then I guess I'm gonna let it dry and you then use this well it doesn't seem like it's drying down I let it wet, dry for like about a minute and it's still really wet I'm just gonna go ahead and put this I guess in my crease
And the thing is, if I mess up, I'm actually going to work today and the mask can't hide my eyes. So I hope it's not going to look too horrible. I should have just went in this shade or should have maybe left it. You know what? My eyelid is actually kind of burning. Is that supposed to happen with liquid eyeshadows? Hmm. I'm gonna try to blend this out. Can't look any worse, right? I don't know. Let's just go back in with the Marc Jacobs and put it on my lid and I'm just going to go with this today. Yeah, I should have tried the matte first for a transition shade. I guess that looks better. I don't know. So the next thing I'm going to do is my winged liner. And if you've seen my other channels or videos, you will know that I struggle. And I did buy these um, left and right stamp um, eyeliners. Um, so I'm going to try this again and see... If I can do a better job. I'm not going to do the wing yet. And the other thing I struggle with is doing my eyes first. That's why I decided to do my eyes first. We're going to do this practice. Okay. So now this is... The flick stick right wing, so we'll do the right. Oop. Hmm. Yeah, actually, doesn't look too bad. Well, it's better than I normally do. Okay, now let's try the left wing. Well, it would have looked better if I got it more even down. So, yeah. It looks better than what I it normally looks like. Next, I'm just going to go on with this Elf Flawless, Flawless Satin Foundation. Not that I struggle with foundation, but because I did my eyes first. Let's see. What happens? And I went ahead and did my mascara on my upper lashes. Now the thing I struggle with that is false lashes. And I don't have any um, too trite. And I don't know if I will try. You never know. I didn't think I would try the pomades either and I it's actually not as bad 
actually since um, this isn't too full coverage and I forgot about this I have this product here these are the Suva Beauty in their uh, it's a chrome liquid liquid chrome illuminating drops and I guess you're supposed to put, mix it with foundation so I'm gonna do one more layer and we're gonna try it the good thing is with this is it will be on my face and be hidden by a mask so I'm gonna just put one drop and we'll see what this does okay so I got it on the back of my hand and mixed it now let's just kind of put it on the face uh, I should probably just not do it this way but oh well and I put way too much but that's all right my face will be hidden today and a little extra coverage isn't gonna hurt right And actually, I don't really see that much of a difference. Let's just take the rest off my, put it around my nose. See, even with all that foundation, some of my redness is coming up. Is peeking through and even with those drops anyway so now we are going to go in with concealer now with concealer the only thing that I struggle with is how much I should put under my under eyes and how to keep it from creasing um, I have tried tons of different techniques from watching the different influencers but I haven't really found a, the technique that works for me yet so today I'm just gonna do the faster one Since I am limited on time for work. So I already did my under eyes, but I just want to go in with this Pixie by Petra Lash, Lash Lift 188. And the reason why i doing this is because I struggle with bigger wands on my under, for my under eyelashes, my lower lashes. So I'm just going to use this one. So regardless of what mascara I use for my upper, I have to find, otherwise I'm going to get it all over the place. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this Yensa Sun Glit sunlight glow bronzer I um, struggle with cream products in general so let's put this on and see how it goes I should not be doing this type of video before work but then I was like well but with work I have to wear a mask all day anyway so I guess it doesn't matter if I mess up unless I mess up like here up but then I also wear my glass well try to wear my glasses as much as possible but they fog up too, so 
I tend to on and my glasses on and off. Okay, let's see how this I can get this blended in. I think I'm gonna try to go in with my fingers this time and get some of it blended. Okay, now I'll go in with the sponge. Try to get this blended. I actually didn't do all that bad by starting with my eyes first and getting the concealer and stuff. I did have a problem right in there trying to get that without messing the makeup up, but. Not as bad as I expected because I tried that technique one other time and it didn't go as well. So, okay, I got this Elf um, monochromatic multi stick, um, and it's supposed to be for your well, it says multi stick, but I think, yeah, this is for your cheeks too though um you know what i'm gonna try a brush because some people do this that i've seen they just kind of go in with their brush and pat it I think I might like the Milani ones better like in this way and not the stick just because that seemed easier to me than using a stick but it could be that I'm just not used to it. I mean, it didn't do too bad. And the next thing I have is the NARS highlighter. So I'm going to try to do the same thing and go in with this highlighting brush. That doesn't seem to be working. Maybe it's the type of brush. Let's try my finger. Or let's. Oh no, that just lifted. Maybe I need a more dense brush. So I'm just going to take this RT2000. It says expert base brush. Oh, I don't know what that means. Try to blend that out. Okay. I have the sticks are not, I do better with actual liquids. Not that it's not pretty or a good product, it's just, 
I obviously suck at this. At using th this kind of stuff. But it just takes practice, right? And like I said, why not practice well? And this is the perfect time to practice with all the situation. Okay, I went ahead and finished the rest of my face. Um, the other the other thing that I struggle with is lip liner. So I'm going to use the Makeup Forever um, lip liner. And it looks like a nudie shade. And last but not least, I struggle with matte lipsticks. Not that I don't know how to use it, but what I've been struggling with is it, like, throughout, the, like, an hour late after this or two hours or whatever, it starts, like, clumping and fake flaking, and I can't stand that. And I even tried moisturizing my, my lips before I do it. I've tried everything. And this isn't this isn't all. Like the other stuff that I used from um NYC. Oh wow. And it's getting all on my teeth. Um that was old. So I'm like, okay, maybe that's it. And but this is new. Uh, it, Newer. It's been in my. I got this in my lips. Uh, Ipsy. Um, it's hard, and it's the half caked in the shade low key. But so it's fine now. Well, if I could get it on my face right, but. Um, but anyway, um, that's the struggle I have with this. And then if you go over with the lip gloss it might help a little bit but it still kind of flakes underneath but then you have that trans then it still transfers into the mask and so i've been just dealing with a matte and the feeling even though i don't know why no one sees it anyway because it's a mask but anyway th those were my struggles with my products i would like to um know what products that you use that you struggle with and let me know and i'll do a video using your products that you struggle with and then the reason why that would be kind of fun you know to do a video with your struggles and see how good i can do it since i struggle with basic products myself um if you enjoyed this video please like and comment your struggles and uh look forward to seeing you again bye